Friday with Father Scott, coming to you from a little more um, casual, a little more intimate setting. This is, uh, uh, the, I guess, the family room, the TV room of the rectory. So I'm going to begin with uh, the upcoming Sunday Gospel for the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. So continuing to listen to St. Mark's words to us about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus said to his disciples, in those days after the tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will be falling from the sky and the powers in the heaven will be shaken. And then they will see the son of man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send out his angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the end of the earth to the end of the sky. Learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branch becomes tender and sprouts leaves, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that he is near at the gate. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But of that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, it's the uh, getting close to the end of the liturgical year, and we have uh, uh, that gospel that begins to focus on, uh, you know, when you see these things, know uh, that the end is near. And uh, I'm, I'm reminded um, growing up how uh, we as children, uh, especially those of us who attended Catholic school, were always taught to live in a state of grace because you don't know the, the day or the hour or the time normally. Um, it's, it comes like a thief in the night. And so we're, we're gently challenged by the gospel that we hear to make sure that you and I have all our ducks in a row, if you will, to be have our, our, our spiritual house all clean and set for what's about to happen. And so the challenge for disciples to, to hear the word of God and to put it into practice today. So a simple gospel, uh, you know, next, the following week, you will hear uh, Christ the King uh, message, uh, and we're all called and challenged to be faithful disciples of the Lord. So uh, here we are at the end of a, a beautiful, powerful liturgical year, if you will. Um, you know, as we look back, a lot of things have happened. We're about to start a, a new liturgical year with the first Sunday of Advent. And, you know, as you grow older, time flies. Um, you know, you probably thought our parents were crazy when they would tell us, wait till you get older, time's going to fly. Well, it has, and it is, and it does. And so uh, we've become our parents, I think, in many respects. But today's gospel challenges all of us just to look around, take notice of things. Uh, what does the gospel of Jesus call us to be about? And what does that state of grace look like for you and me today? Um, you know, challenging the children in a school liturgy that, you know, the kingdom is in you. And if it is, then what does it look like? What's my role in the kingdom? So as we hear the message today, what does Jesus call you and I to be about? So until we meet again, ladies and gentlemen, another Friday with Father Scott, continue to check on your neighbors, you know, watch out for each other. Uh, and until we meet again, uh, God's blessing. Take care.